All right, and welcome back for the episode of Carnivore Trades. Today is Friday, May 31st, 2024. If you're not doing so already, please give the video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Come find me on carnivoretrades.com for swing trading alerts, analysis, and live day trading. Again, probably a good day to mention this. Um, again, just two weeks left on the flash sale. That's site wide. And um, again, just a little plug here been telling members about this there's the flash sale details on my twitter homepage or uh pin account but tell members look for the last couple of weeks uh look for a viable pivot in late may and um today i you know almost speechless so you know i do cycle work um and so on and many other things here and um, sometimes it just amazes me even much so and we've been positioned very nicely for this so what a day here i'm gonna try and walk you through it um just what a sell so we had a sell here this morning or, well i should go back to the beginning so we go to the es i talked about a lot of things and um one of those is that four hour wedge so falling wedge there we did try to snipe that low and spike it and you can see RSI kind of getting divergent. They were pushing so hard earlier. You know, look at a five minute. Um, look at how much selling, so how hard it, they got to work just to get, you know, six points out of this. And then we finally got down to 5,200. We talked about that likely being the lows of the day with members. We did uh, pick up in the trading room some ES there, adding to our position and um, now nicely in the money um, as we got into the end of the day here after that obvious rally um, but there was a massive gex wall there and it wasn't likely that they were going to be able to break through that i wish i could walk you through the gex um the whole day but um you know needless to say we got down to 5200 it got defended lots of puts being sold and um they just walked it up 25 then we got up to 50 i said at 50 hits and i'm i'm gonna have a lot to say in the daily video and we actually got all the way up to almost 5280 so a massive move here off the lows uh you know i'm almost still kind of speechless at this point I, there was a pretty good rally here so we're talking about an 80 point 80 to 90 point move um in the in the futures in a few hours absolute massive squeeze um pce coming in basically goldilocks i, I think i believe that, i know i talked about this with members yesterday but it's yesterday's price action is that is as if they were fishing for shares and what i mean by that is Look at yesterday, how we just kind of like grinding around here. Can't get it, can't get it the shares, can't get the shares, so they got to dump it. We had good data this morning to rally, but we couldn't follow through, couldn't make a higher high. Why? They didn't have enough shares. You got to get, you know, in order to take it up, you have to take it down enough to get that liquidity. So what do you do? Can't take out the highs, it goes lower. So again, got that sense that we were fishing for shares. Additionally, every bear in the world has been saying for the last couple of weeks and you know to, to be to their credit it's true but i've been saying nvidia right the breadth is terrible oh the transports are telling us that we're going to crash because the cr transports are down and the spiders are up well what did i point out yesterday very clearly transports were up big up big again today again this morning iwm up when you see iwm up and you see all these other sectors vnq terrible sector huge bid today xhb xbi xlf xle all these at the highs of the day closing at the highs of the day rallying hard um i heard it, the regional banks were going to crash two days ago look at them today um you see all these other sectors picking up the slack that's okay if tech sells that's good rotation that these these chips are ridiculously inflated they do need to come in i've you know said that multiple times but as long as you see rotation and you see us pulling back on what light volume by the way you want to talk about volume you complain about volume 88 million shares on the spy and we had a massive rally so i can say all these things here um just adding to a multitude of reasons as to why i was looking for a low um I'm not going to get into the cycle stuff that's um for members only so but anyway we closed back above the all-time high today uh the previous all-time high and so did the queues queues did close red still again um, a lot of those MRVL, it did come a little bit off the lows, held the 618 there. Uh, Dell, this one was close. I wanted to get this at 130 in the trading room. It got down to like 132, almost touched, testing that uh, 50 MA there. 
would have been a good level, but nonetheless bouncing. So again, tech on the weaker side, but take a look at CRM. What a rebound there, almost 8%. IGV, yeah, close below this trend line, but he held the 50 week moving average. This can squeeze up next week, I think. So again, um, big rally here, nice reversal. And I'm, you know, I've told you guys, I think we're going a lot higher in the summertime. And I think this was the, uh, the start of that. So beautiful reversal candle here. Um, again, next level, 53.25, that's the big level. We get above that, I think we're gonna, uh, you know, we're gonna take off to the upside. Now, 53.40, technically that's still the pivot, right? That's That was the pivot, but going into the intraday, you can see one, two, three, four, five tests. So that's the level that was defended, 53.25. So that's the big area to get through now. You know, you got some chop in here, you got 5,300, that will be a, that will be Gex on Monday, I guarantee it. In fact, I saw it come up in the last couple of minutes at the end of the day, which is hilarious. But um, you got a 618 right here too, 5285, 786 just above that. So those will be levels, but I, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if we had a gap and go on Monday. Um, the only thing that would change that is we have jobs data next week. Um, but I'm telling you, if the, if the market sniffs out a weakening labor market, this thing's gonna rip higher. So, um, PCE was Goldilocks, the market sold off. Not because of fundamentals, right? Why? Look at the look at bonds. How did you know that? Just look at bonds. They're rallying. So there was no concern there from the market. It was just fishing for shares. All right, it's my birthday weekend coming up. I'm getting a little animated here. Anyway, so markets here holding up today. Um, and what can you say? 53.25, that's the big level here. Um, Q's again, 460. They may be, they may still be soft though. I still think some of these semis are lofty and it's, you know, it's not a surprise MRVL coming in, Dell coming in. Maybe next quarter NVIDIA finally gets the hammer. I mean, this is long overdue here, um, but right now market's holding up and again, we'll leave it there for now. IWM, again, leading the market. When the Russell leads, it's not bearish. Um, 208, 210. To 212 that's been getting hammered on the last two three months and we've got higher lows on the weekly so i think that's a matter of time um the diamond here i talked about this the other day wickedly oversold right the four hour rsi um at 1050 i'm sorry like i have to, going into a pce like i'm sorry i have to buy I, I just i mean like if you're what else are you waiting for you know like when you see that so big rally there for the YM and the Dow. Um, next level, yeah, probably you know right around 392. That's about 50% retrace too. Semis we talked about, good pullback, but it came off the lows, hold, held all the moving averages. Same thing with the Sox, right to 5K. And right back up. IGV, it's definitely had a good sell, but um, everybody got bearish on cloud over the last two days. So we'll see if that flips. And what can you say about the Dow transports? I tweeted about this yesterday. I said, you're, you're not going to believe the amount of anger that will be if the transports lead to the upside, um, because that was the number one reason as to why we were going to crash. Um, and look at that. So just 450 points off the lows. Say like 15.4 here is your next level. That's a little pivot right there we went into. Let me just see the fibs here. Yeah, 15.2. Yeah, so 15.2, 15.3. Then you're 6.18 at 15.4. So those will be levels there, but um, transport's getting a good bounce. All right. Um, interest rates here backed off. So I talked about this level. It's not likely we're just going to break right through that, right? Any bull who was bought long yields up here, they're going to turn into a seller. When we get back up there, same thing with fives, tens, and thirties. Trade is really crowded too in long in long yields. I'm a a big yield bull long term, but everything can have cyclical changes, right? Even if we go back to not to get too off track here, but long term yields, right? Look at these rallies: you know, five and a half to you know almost seven percent in you know a, a couple of years. So there's always counter cyclical trends inside of these moves. And I think the trade was really crowded, as you guys know. Um, XHB up one and a third. That's been a laggard lately. That got a bounce today. VNQ, the laggard of all laggards, and a good move today up just under 
I don't talk about XBI a lot, but that was up nicely today and yesterday. It didn't finish. Um, it came off the highs, but again, biotech's an intriguing sector to me here. I think I think this might be the summer of laggards, honestly. Um, XLF up nicely. You still have higher lows. There's nothing wrong with the chart. Still got that resistance though at 41.72. KRE again. This is supposed to crash, and it didn't. Still holding up. You have a higher low now. KBE. Weekly is still very strong. Uh, broker dealers. Look at this dip on the broker dealers too. Right down in the V shape. Trend is still up. Um, oil took a little spill today. No pun intended. Now I'm 65 cents. So again, that 80 handle just cannot break. So I think this has got to go down into the low 70s. I'd be interested at buying there. As long as it doesn't consolidate for too long. If it does, then I would maybe avoid it that said i do like energy stocks to a certain extent look at xle up two and a half with oil down so again like i said markets are pinned at an index level and if certain things are down other things got to be up so xle able to go the opposite way as oil xop as well that chart looks a lot better OIH, same thing. Although you do have a little, maybe kind of a little bear kind of pattern there. And maybe even on XOP too. But these are still backing and filling right now. Um, uranium CCJ, new highs. URNM, no new highs. But again, this is still very strong. I do like it still. And the same thing with the NJ. Um, Nat Gas took a winner on this in the trading room. I gave you guys this level actually yesterday. You could have taken that if you wanted to. Um, I still think this could bounce up a little bit more, but I'm not looking to marry it. But that 250 level, I mean, come on, 618, um, breakout, back test. Another thing I said in the trading room, too, is like, it, if you were short, the shorts got in up here, right? Obviously. If you were short from three plus and you're, you got it down to 250 by Friday and you can't break it through 250, right? Look at, they tried, they tried, they tried, they tried, then you got a higher low. Why, why, why risk it? Just get out, and then you can always reshort later. And that, that's where we got that big pop from. At least that's how I see it. Because rig count came out at one o'clock, and it did nothing there. So that was that was short covering. But nice, uh, nice trade there for Natty. Still holding a little runner for that. Um, dollar index down on the day, but it's still holding up. The dollar has been really firm, and it almost looks like the spiders, right? Bottom in the morning, and then rallied back. Market's been disconnected from the dollar for a while. So has gold. I mean, look at dollars up for the year. Spiders are up for the year. Gold's up for the year. Everybody wins except for the VIX, which I told you guys 1475 would be an area to sell vol at. And it was pretty good. Anyway, dollar index, decent, um, but down on the day. Gold, I think gold's going to do some more back end filling. I don't like this <clears throat> bearish inside bar here on the daily. So I think it may have to come back in a little bit. It will be a buying opportunity, though. Look at this weekly. The trend is separating. I like that. And um, I'd be looking for, for dips on this. Um, silver a little bit weak as well. Down 3% on the day. Um, again, just look at GDX. GDX is down a little bit. SIL down 25 cents. So, again, miners, they're okay. They need to pull back, though. Um, platinum up $8. It's still holding up, still holding trend. Um, and then palladium here was down. That was a contract roll, though, too. So just be aware of that. All right. Um, copper here, again, 460. I like this for a bounce here. I do like copper for a little bounce here. I think that's all it is. I'm expecting a lower high. Um, <clears throat> I do like it a lot at 425 if we can get down there. That's where you could get a, you know, not just a couple days, but like a couple week bounce. So copper into some support. We'll watch that. I don't own it, just so you know, full disclosure. I might though, we'll see. <laughs> All right, um, Bitcoin still bullish inside bar on the daily. Did not follow through with the spiders. So it did come off the lows, but it didn't have that giga send like, you know, like the spiders did. A lot of that came from those vol sellers just coming in and saying, nope, that's enough. Um, so Bitcoin doesn't really have that aspect to it. Not yet anyway, I like, can't wait for that to happen. Um, but um, <clears throat> a lot of crypto traders don't even really use options. So, but I'm sure they will at some point. But anyway, um, it still has an inside bar. I'd like to see it start to go, though. I don't want to see it take too long. 
Otherwise, retest of 63, and then maybe it can go up. But still holding up, still hanging in there. ETH was green on the day, though. That needs to, that 20 MA needs to catch up, and then that can go higher. So again, um, really good pivot here, really good volume behind it. And um, again, right on the money here with that, that cycle call. And um, I think we're gonna go a lot higher over the summer. So that's my prognosis. Lots of jobs data next week. Then we got the Fed after that. We'll see what the market does here. If you get a weakening labor market this week, this market's gonna send. So um, just be aware of that. Doesn't mean we're going to go up in a straight line. Um, we'll, there will be pullbacks. There will be chop days. But um, really, really, really good reversal here for the markets, uh, especially doing it in, in a few hours after being down all the way into the 5200 handle. Anyways, guys, going to wrap it up here. You guys take care. Thank you guys all for being part of the channel, watching videos, liking, comment, subscribing, all that stuff. Again, don't forget to take advantage of that flash sale. We'll be going on for another two weeks or so. So anyways, guys, you take care. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys all next week.